Hey guys, so it's me Keanu. Today's video, I'm back with another Tester Invest video in a different style format. Today I want to highlight the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. I've had a few of you ask me questions on this uh, powder foundation and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm not a big, big fan of powder foundations. But, <clears throat> spoiler alert that was until I'm trying this. So the shade that I'm going to be showing you today is shade 330. So if we are complexion twins, this is what it kind of looks like. The 330 definitely falls on the neutral spectrum. To be honest, I had gone in with my mindset on a different shade, but once I went in, I had an amazing um, assistant help me in the Sephora store in Georgia. And we just went through about five or six of them. And this is the one that I landed on. Um, typically, I go a lot more golden in my foundations. But with this being a powder, one, you don't want a powder to oxidize. Powders typically oxidize really, really quickly on the skin, which is a plus for them. Um, two, I have really, really dry skin. So I want to make sure that I wasn't going to use the wrong shade and then possibly have the issue of it showing a raised area or not. Not one time did I have to pull it out of my pocket or my purse to do any touch-ups. So even with mask wearing, it does come off just a little bit, but nothing more for me to say, oh my God, it's not worth its money. I will say if you are a supporter of Fenty, and I am, I honestly like the powder foundation better than I did the liquid because the liquid, I could never find my perfect shade. And I know people that watch foundation reviews, they really like to find as close to the perfect shade as possible. Well, in this, I think I nailed it. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm giving you the insights on it. The product um, is available as far as I know, only at Sephora. This is one of my products of choice for a really, really quick glam situation. This look that I'm wearing right here, I'm gonna show you how I completed it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the second part of this video. Enjoy. All right, guys, let's get started. I previously recorded a similar video and I was just going to do a quick talk through, but I basically bribed my family to keep it quiet for at least the next hour so I could give you guys full commentary on this product and my thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and get started because I'm cutting into my time. Also, disclaimer, never mind my hair. Today is deep conditioning day. You know, I did a quick Olaplex treatment on it. I used products that were much too heavy to style it. So and here we go. I really want to show you guys how I would use this product. I'm really not a big powder foundation person. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into using my um, Hourglass Concealer. And I know somebody's like, girl, is it even going to be a powder foundation review? Well, yes, it is. But I always do my... Well, recently I've started doing what's called my underpainting before I do my foundation. So since the powder is going to be my foundation, <laughs> we're just going to cover up those areas that I just honestly think is too much to ask out of a foundation one and definitely a powder foundation. Okay, so we went ahead and did that quick concealer technique. This is something that I honestly think will serve you well when you put it on a powder foundation because sometimes putting a liquid on top of a powder gets really really tricky I'm definitely going to do my concealer underneath first now you've been warned I'm going to quickly do a quick little contour again I'm using that liquid before I use my powder so let's just go ahead and do that all right so we've done all of the underpainting really really quickly so anything liquid that I want to put on is on I just need to set underneath my eye area to setting underneath this eye area because I don't want a color powder to stick too bad underneath here because then it's really going to make me look even more tired and if you want something really light and luminous the way it would provide with a powder foundation trust me do not skip this step to someone this is honestly enough paint not to even use this but the reason again that i did this video this way is because i think oftentimes we're expecting 
a full glam moment out of one product and to be honest i'm really just too old for those types of games that just never works for me but i can tell you that i do love this powder but what what rihanna and fenty did was gave you a nice compact with a quick little mirror they also gave you a quick little sponge that i think will serve you well and i typically don't use sponges so i'm not going to even fool you it's not something that i'm going to even test now i've tried the product a couple times and i enjoy it the way that i'm about to show you so this is honestly like the fastest type moment the thing is to get the shade okay so let's just go ahead and strike it right here like there's no product on this side of my face shall i zoom you in so there's literally no product on my face what is going on there's no product on my face right here so i'm just going to quickly grab my finger and rub it so you can see the intensity that i'm going to get out of it i showed you some of the pre-steps of what i consider is a good glam work and with a with a foundation even a powder foundation think of what most of us are looking for we're looking for something that's going to give us a nice seamless finish that we're going to be able to have on all day that's going to give us a little bit of coverage and that's that look at what's already happened to this side of my face can you see how everything that i did underneath is more finished and more smooth at this point can you see that this is basically a everyday ready soft glam look and can i tell you that it honestly is mass proof i was able to wear this and of course a little bit came off but it wasn't like I was needing to touch up really really right away um, we are still in the mental of winter I do have dry skin so I'm trying to cover all the things but I just look look at look at the finish of that the the finish of the powder is giving me like like I did another layer of foundation over top I love the coverage I love the color I like how quick and easy it is it's not me trying to match a bunch of different shades to get like a nice even canvas and I honestly think that you guys would really really enjoy it this is a product that I would totally want to do a full face with without my concealer absolutely not I think it's going to really really make me hate it because I'm asking for it to do something that is really not designed to do so let's go ahead and finish up this quick routine add a little bit of my bronzer around the eye i'm actually going to prep my lashes as well for me to do a simple look i want to still have some components of glam and for me that is you know, definitely adding on the lash and while my lash adhesive is drying I'm gonna grab a little bit of that bronzer and just lightly add to the depth of my complexion just right around the perimeter you've been following me for a while you know that this step is urgent honey we don't like that skin to look sun-kissed even if the Sun is hiding boom now i can just kind of pop back over that really really quickly same brush which is another reason i like to use a brush with this product because it lets you blend really really easily but if all you have is the little sponge that's in here do you boo let's pop on a little bit of mascara the mirror is actually really good in this product as well don't forget that lower lash line there we go honey she's starting to look like somebody let's go ahead and put a lip on do something really light because honey right we're in a rush we're, go ahead and grab your favorite grab your favorite honey popping on a little bit of color will change anyone's life get this lash on tip that head back pop that lash on boom boom Honey, a good lash will get you in any office you want to get into. Put a little quick fluff on the hairs, honey, and we are starting to look like some by teeth. And this, my friends, is why I do like this Fenty Beauty 
powder foundation i really think that it allows me to get that glam together it's one of the pieces that i would keep in a quick makeup bag your mask wearing you're pulling that mask up and down you don't need a lot of it to touch up i wouldn't say especially with the weather being basically neutral right now it's using a good brush to blend it out i would not probably suggest dampening a sponge because I think it's going to put the product down and lift it up um, I didn't even require using a primer with it try it but just know you're putting a primer on and then a powder and if you start to get that grab then maybe you'll it's going to be a little bit more of a learning curve with it okay and that's all I have for this review on the Fenty Beauty powder foundation I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it make sure you give me two thumbs up comment down below if you like this style of video I know that I kind of took you through the other steps of how to make this product better but instead of me just cutting that out I thought you might want to know how it really would build a face with this product so and now you know so comment down below if you like this type of video if you don't like it you know keep those thoughts to yourself as always if you haven't already follow my youtube channel make sure you click that subscribe button also click the bell for post notifications so the next time i upload you'll be notified until next time guys thanks so much for watching hugs and kisses we'll talk to you soon bye